Hey guys, so today we are doing a geometry problem and the question says in the triangle at right, I'm sorry, in I completely read that wrong, in right triangle ABC shown to the right, if AB equals 14 and BC equals 12, then BD equals what? So that tells us that this length here is equal to 14 and this length here is equal to 12 and it wants to know what this excuse me this length here is so i'm going to call that x and that's actually going to make this length here 14 minus x um, that's because when we add this length 14 minus x and this longer length x it has to be equal to 14. So 14 minus x plus x equals, those cancel out, equals 14, just as we wanted. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna label this height here, I'm gonna call it y. And you'll see why I do that in a little bit, but I'm gonna just label it y for now. Now I have, the only thing I don't have labeled is this part here, a, c. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the information given to me, um, and I'm going to actually use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for this length, because we have this side, which can be a squared, this side, which would be c squared, because that's a hypotenuse, and then this other side, which would be b squared. So I'll just call this a for now. So I have a squared plus 12 squared, this is b, equals the hypotenuse, which is 14 squared. And just a little note, it might kind of be hard to tell which side should be your c squared, but just remember that it's always the longest side. And looking at this larger triangle here, this is clearly the longest side. And you can also tell because it's opposite of this right angle. So your a and your b are going to be on either side of this right triangle, and then your c is going to be opposite to it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and solve for a, so I'm going to get a squared plus 144 equals 196. I'm going to subtract 144 from both sides, and I'm going to get a squared is equal to 52. So we know that a is equal to the square root of 52. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this a and put a 52 back there. I'm sorry, square root 52. Okay, so now what happens is we have two variables, but we can also use the relationship between them and the Pythagorean theorem to solve for those variables. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So for this smaller triangle here, um, if we wanted to use the Pythagorean theorem, we would do a squared, which I'm going to call this 14 minus x. So it would be 14 minus x squared plus y squared, because again, those are on, on um, they're touching the right angle, and then this root 52 is opposite of it. So this is equal to the square root of 52 squared. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify that a bit. Um, let's see, so this is 14 minus x times 14 minus x and that equals 196 minus 14x minus 14x plus x squared, which equals 196 minus 28x plus x squared. And I'm just gonna rewrite the, that with my uh, largest term first. So x squared minus 28x plus 196. Oops, that should be 196, okay. So now adding in the rest of the equation, um, this is kind of just a side note, so kind of just ignore that for now. Um, so that's going to be equal to x squared minus 28x plus 196 plus y squared. And then the square root of 52 squared is just the number inside, so that's equal to 52. Okay, so now I'm going to have to do this again with this other rectangle on the right here. So I'm going to erase this information over here because it's not super important, so I have a little more room. Okay, so in this case, um, we have our right angle here. So our A and B are gonna be X and Y. 
So I'm going to have x squared plus y squared is equal to 12 squared, or x squared plus y squared is equal to 144. So now if you see what I essentially did was I set up two equations with two different unknowns. So I have this equation here and this equation here. So there are two different ways to solve these problems. There's elimination and there's also substitution. In this case, I'm going to use elimination because I think it's slightly easier. And then what that's gonna allow me to do is eliminate one of the variables and then use that information to eventually solve for both of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and write this equation here on top. So it's x squared minus 28x plus 196 plus y squared is equal to 52. And now I'm going to go ahead and subtract this equation from it. And I want to subtract from it because that's going to eliminate variables. If I were to add to it, it would just give me another equation, but I'd still have both of the variables in there. So I'm going to um, subtract, so I have to distribute the minus sign through to every term. So it's going to be minus x squared. And then I'm going to write my y squared under this y squared. So minus y squared is equal to negative 144 equals. Okay, so again, what I did here was I just took this equation, I distributed a negative through to all of it since I was subtracting it, and then I just kind of split it up when I wrote it, just so it's easier to see which terms are going to subtract. So now this is just going to become zero. I'm going to bring my negative 28x down. I'm going to bring this 196 down. These are going to cancel. And then I'm going to be left with, let's see, what is 144 minus 52, 2, 9, negative, negative 92. Now I'm going to continue and solve for x. So I'm going to subtract 196 from both sides. So I'm going to do 92 uh, plus 196. And then we have 18 and then 2. So now we get, let me make sure I just did that properly. Yes, so now we get negative 28x is equal to negative 288. And solving for x, we are going to get negative 288 over negative 28. And now we have to reduce that. So let's see, I'm going to bring it all the way over here. Sorry about the split in the screen. So 288 over 28. I'm just going to go ahead and divide by 2. So I'm going to get 144 over 14. Um, I'll just divide by 2 again. And I'm going to get 52 over 7. Oh, I'm sorry, not 52. 72 over 7. So our final answer is that x is equal to 72 over 7. All right, so that video might have been a little bit tough conceptually. Um, I would just recommend when you have these problems, really just think about the information you're given and what formulas or equations you know that relate those. So. In this case, I knew that I had a set of a total of really three triangles because I had this triangle here, this triangle here, and then they were within a larger triangle. And the formulas I know that relate the sides of a triangle is the Pythagorean theorem. So just try to use the tools that you already have and try to use them in a creative way such that you can solve for your distances. Um, and then again, if you had any trouble with the algebra, I would recommend going through um, probably just eliminating variables or equations of two variables and then specifically the elimination process. So hopefully that was helpful. If you do need any additional help, uh, my email is in the description box and I'm a math tutor in the Los Angeles area or in person over Skype. All right, I appreciate you watching.